may still want clips on like the sides of the books, but we'll just go one exercise at a time. We'll probably have time for like one or two. Just make sure you have comp and circumstance behind your book ready to roll. Yep, we'll just start right at the beginning, right at number one. Yeah, just make sure comp and circumstance is behind and like ready to roll when we need it. But as of right now, we are still good. We don't have seniors yet, so we are okay. It's my sister. Hey, Cindy. I'm actually uh, I'm actually at my high school's graduation ceremony. Truly. Uh, I'm not super late. If you, I can call you when I'm done. All right. Talk to you soon. I was Cindy. I have two older sisters. Perfect. Here's number one. <laughs> we won't start until they actually like get over there. Yeah. Alright, here's number one. Three sharps. Also, I only have the first violin for him, so I don't know. Number one. One, two, ready, and three. Thank you. 
Good evening, graduates. You may be seated. Good evening, everyone. I'm Matthew Ballantyne, principal of Chillicothe High School, and I'm thrilled to welcome you here this evening as we gather to celebrate the commencement of the young men and women of the class of 2023. It, it is a pleasure to be able to celebrate the accomplishments of a graduating class who has persevered through unimaginable times. Would you all please stand for the Star Spangled Banner? Please be seated. Thank you, Mrs. Kennard and the talented students of CHS's Symphonic Choir. Please give Mrs. Kennard and the Symphonic Choir, along with Mr. Watts, our orchestra director and the CHS Orchestra, a warm round of applause for their contributions this evening. Once again, welcome and good evening. And congratulations to Chillicothe High School's graduating class of 2023. Before proceeding any further, I'd like to introduce a number of individuals who have come to tonight's event and to participate in our commencement ceremony. I ask these individuals to please stand to be recognized by those in attendance. Seated on the stage this evening is the superintendent of Chillicothe City School District, Ms. Debbie Swinehart. Joining her is Mrs. Claudia Zeller, Chillicothe City School District Treasurer. Ladies and gentlemen, these are our district representatives for this evening. 
Also on stage are the members of Chillicothe City School District's Board of Education. Please welcome President Mrs. Liz Corzine. <laughs> Vice President, Mr. Sean Porter. And board members, Mr. Bill Bonner. Mr. Ryan Wade. and Mr. Randy Kelly. Thank you, you may be seated. Also in attendance this evening, seated near the stage, are those who oversee, serve, and advise the Chillicothe High School students, including Mr. Daniel Staggs, Assistant Principal. Mr. Dustin Weaver, Assistant Principal. Mrs. Charity Armbruster, Senior Class Counselor. And School Counselors, Mrs. Brittany Graves and Mr. Mark Rausch. Also joining this evening are our two of our resource officers, Mr. Tim Boltonhouse and Mrs. Julie Preston. And we would be remiss if we did, did not acknowledge the relationship we have pick with Pickway Ross Vocational School with representation by Mrs. Lisa Corcoran Deddy. We also have many members of the faculty and staff who have contributed this evening. And please remain standing as I call your name. We have administrative assistants, Crystal Puckett and Amy Winfield. Senior class advisor and math educator, Ms. Megan Clark. And finally, Mr. Travis Kearns and Mr. Michael Richardson. To our faculty representatives voted on by the class of 2023 to greet them prior to receiving their diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, please give these dedicated CHS employees a warm round of applause. <laughs> Graduation is a kindergarten through 12th grade endeavor, and the Chillicothe City School District staff is one of our greatest assets. In particular, our staff is a major reason why our district's curriculum, extracurricular activities, and educational programs are so successful. This includes administrators, teachers, administrative assistants, custodians, bus drivers, monitors, and cooks. Would all of the staff of the Chillicothe City School District who are in attendance this evening please stand to be recognized. Thank you. It's because of their dedication that we can be here tonight to celebrate the accomplishments of the men and women before us. Thank you to everyone who has been recognized and for all that you do for our students, our school, and our community. Finally, there's a group of people this evening we must recognize because without them, this commencement ceremony would not be possible. Parents of guardians of the class of 2023, Thank you for trusting us to educate your children. In addition, thank you for the support that you have provided for your graduate along the way. If it weren't for your love and your encouragement, it is very possible that your student would not be here participating this evening. Would all of the parents and guardians of the class of 2023 please stand and be recognized for all that you do for your children, this school, and our community. Some of our graduates sitting before you will start their post high school journey by entering the, mo the military to serve and honor our country. Some of our graduates will be entering into the police force 
to protect and serve the communities. Soon, they will join the ranks of our other veterans and other police officers who have made significant personal sacrifices to advance and ensure the freedoms enjoyed by all Americans. Would all of our class of 2023 graduates who have plans to enter the military or join the police force, please stand to be recognized, as well as our servicemen and women, our police officers and veterans of armed forces in attendance today. If it weren't for their selfless acts towards our great nation, we would not be able to enjoy the freedoms that we celebrate today, like gathering here to honor our loved ones. And now a few words for our graduates. It was just the other morning at about 7.15 when I was leaving my house with my kids in tow. I was running late for work, as always. Sorry, Miss Swinehart. And I was headed down Western Avenue, approaching a traffic light, when it turned yellow before I had time to gas it through the intersection. Sorry, Officer Preston. But you better believe that as I sat there at that red light, I was poised with my right foot to hit the gas pedal on my 2017 Ford Transit van. I was prepared to drive that 12-passenger van like it was a Formula One racing car. The light turned green, and off I was, like the scene from a drag race track, to only be stopped by the changing of the next light on Western Avenue. It was while I was at that light that I heard a young voice from one of my children behind me. They began to tell me a story about how he was chosen to be the school boss in his preschool classroom. Later to find out, he only meant the line leader. But his excitement and energy about this chosen position radiated through that van as we sat at that red light. And he told me he, all about this opportunity he had while he held this position. He continued to talk about how his friends were excited and they cheered him on when he got the position. And his teacher chose him because he had been a good listener all year. It was in that moment, at that red light on Western Avenue, I realized I've spent too much time rushing from traffic light to traffic light in life and not taking enough time to slow down. Enjoy the journey and celebrate even the little things in life, life, like being the boss. Here we sit on May 19th, 2023, to celebrate a journey that you have been on for the last 13 years of your life. And I would imagine that if you're like me, you have rushed from one light to another that indicated your progress of your journey. But the question I have for you today is have you taken the time to truly enjoy the journey? While we sit here this evening, all of us are probably thinking about what's next on our to-do list. Preparation for graduation parties. Do I have all the presents purchased? Do I have the money in the envelope ready to go? I encourage each and every one in attendance tonight to pause in this moment and bask in the excitement of graduation. Whether you're a parent, a guardian, a guest, or a graduate. As this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for us to experience this here, together, in the now. Together is a word that I would use to describe the class of 2023. This class is one of the closest classes that I've had the pleasure of working with in my tenure at Chillicothe High School. From the senior sunrise breakfasts to the bonfire at homecoming, 
to the proms, to the homecomings, to the many activities that they've organized over their four years. Just today, I felt this strength as I watched each of you prepare for this ceremony. I saw you straightening each other's caps. I saw you hugging, the high fives, the age-old singles of friendship and caring. I saw your unbridled enthusiasm for what you have accomplished. The support and love you have shown each other throughout your years at Chillicothe High School is an excitement that not every graduating class has experienced. And as we leave this place tonight, take the many experiences with you into this world, wherever this world has for you to go, wherever the world selects for you to go. Take the excitement that's similar to the excitement my son had being selected to be the boss. It should be an excitement you feel as you journey through life, wherever you go. Take that enthusiasm that surrounds you tonight out into the world with you and use it to obtain your goals. And as you go forward, don't forget the friends you have made and those that you will make along the way. True friendship is a treasure. Continue to care. Care about yourself, your family, your friends, and your world. And wherever the next chapters of life story take you, make sure the journey includes joy. Life moves too fast not to take a moment to enjoy the ride. Congratulations, class of 2023. Each year, the class chooses a song. And there, this year's senior class song, which will be presented by the Symphonic Choir under the direction of Mrs. Kennard, is entitled Good Riddance.
The next portion of our ceremony will feature speeches by three very talented students from the class of 2023. First, I'd like to call to the stage CHS valedictorian, Miss Allen, Allison Lutz. Allison is the daughter of Aaron and Mark Lutz. Allison will attend Denison University in the fall, and her speech is in, entitled Core Strength. Let's see if we can get this out. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mr. Valentine, and welcome to the family and friends of the class of 2023. I am Allison Lutz, and I'm honored to be speaking to you as the valedictorian for the class of 2023. So thank you all for coming out here tonight to support our graduates. First, I would like to begin by thanking everyone who made tonight possible. Thank you to Mr. Ballantyne, Mr. Weaver, and the entire CCSD staff for all of your planning, preparation, hard work, and passion for learning that pushed us to be our best and earn the right to walk across the stage in front of you. I would personally like to thank my family, my mom and dad, my grandparents, uncles and aunts, as well as my friends for your endless support throughout not only my academic career, but my entire life. Thank you to all of the students I've had the pleasure of calling my peers for the past four years for challenging me to grow as a person and do my best academically and for persevering through some of the most arduous years. As I was thinking of what to say during this speech, one thought remained clear in the back of my mind. Please, for the love of God, don't make this speech about COVID. <laughs> I'm sure we're all exhausted from dwelling on the topic for the past three years and there's so much more to our class than COVID. Instead, I'd like to start my speech with a question for everyone. With a raise of hands, have you ever bitten into an apple? There was a hesitance there. I had to think about it. <laughs> All right, so I'm glad most of you raised your hands for that question because I love a good apple, especially from Hershey's during the fall. Now, you might be thinking, why is this girl standing up here going on about apples? But I'm an English literature nerd and I love a good extended metaphor, so you have to bear with me. Since most of you raise your hands, you know the number one rule of eating an apple is to not bite into the core. It's tough and it's hard to eat. Unless you're my father, of course, who, like a crazy person, actually enjoys eating the core of an apple. But, you know, for the sake of the metaphor, we're going to ignore his ridiculous eating habits. Anyways, the core is tough and it's hard to eat. All of the damage to the apple that occurs from eating it happens to its exterior, the flesh of the apple. All of the bites, all of the bruises, all of the apple pies or applesauce made in each scenario happens to the flesh while the core is left untouched. Not only does the core remain intact, but so do the seeds it contains, the seeds that can be planted into the ground and grow into an apple tree, providing us with more fruit. See, my grandparents have had a couple of apple trees in their backyard since I was a baby, and each year I look forward to seeing the new growth of fruit that appears in the summer and ripens in the fall. Because no matter how many apples we picked last year, there was always the certainty that the tree will blossom again and there will be more fruit to make pies and applesauce. This is how I think we as people are quite similar to apples. Everyone carries with them deep inside their own core, their core strength. And no, I don't mean that kind of core strength for the gym rats out there, though uh, my mom tells me I need to work on that one too. The core strength I'm talking about is the deepest version of yourself, the beliefs and values that make you who you are, your integrity, responsibility, compassion, loyalty, or creativity, just to name a few. These beliefs can vary greatly from person to person, just as each apple is different from the next. However, there are two things that all of our core strengths have in common. First is that no matter how many people bite into your apple, no matter how many scratches you have on the outside, no matter how many bruises you get after slipping right out of hand after a nice bath in the sink, you are the same. In spite of all the challenges or adversity we face in life, our core values remain intact. The second thing is that our core strengths, just like the seeds of the apple, can be planted elsewhere and continue to grow and thrive. 
We can share these best parts of ourselves no matter where life takes us. We're all entering a new chapter in our lives and heading into different directions in life. Some of us are going to college, some of us to a trade school, some of us are going into the military, some of us are heading straight to the workforce, and some of us aren't sure what the future holds. Actually, a lot of us are probably not sure what the future holds, even myself, but that's okay. Because we have our whole lives ahead of us to figure this out. The core of who we are will not be broken by anything that comes at us in the future. As we leave here tonight as Chillicothe High School graduates, I want everyone to remember that each and every one of us has inside the strength to get through the most difficult and uncertain times and grow from any hard lessons we may experience in life. We are strong, we are resilient, and we are cavaliers. Thank you. <laughs> Tremendous job, Allison. Next up is Ms. Maddox Woods, salutatorian of the class of 2023. Maddox is the daughter of Brad and Lola Woods. Maddox will attend Miami University of Ohio in the fall. Her speech is entitled Legacy. Hello everyone, welcome to the class of 2023's commencement ceremony. I am honored to have been named this year's salutatorian. It is through my years of hard work, de dedication and sacrifices that I'm speaking to you all tonight. I couldn't be prouder of myself or my classmates. Now I wanna take this time to tell you all a bit about my story. We all have those moments that set us on our path to the future. Sometimes it's moments that we never see coming, but they influence us in more ways than expected. My moment occurred in 2015. This is the year reports of missing women from Chillicothe began circulating the news. I couldn't imagine what these families were feeling at the time. You can never truly understand unless you're in a situation like that. May 29th, 2015, my family was in a time of celebration as my uncle would be graduating the following day. May 30th, 2015, our lives changed forever. It was early morning when my grandma received a knock at her door. When she opened it, she found the sheriff's department. It was then that they informed her that Timberly, my aunt, had become the seventh missing woman and that she had been murdered. May 30th was also the class of 2015's graduation ceremony. After receiving the most devastating news, we had to attend graduation. A moment that was intended for great celebration was overshadowed by an immense amount of grief. At this time, I understood the grief and flood of emotions the other families were feeling. I was witnessing the walls of my family crumble to the ground as each member was overtaken with grief and anger. This was the turning point in my life, although I wouldn't know it until this year. For a long time, I wanted to be a vet, a zoologist, or a pediatrician. Unfortunately, I wasn't one of the lucky ones who knew what they wanted to do with their life from a young age. Like many, my mind changed countless times. However, this year, as I was deciding on my classes, I stumbled upon a mass murder class. Seeing how relevant this topic is for our nation, I decided to enroll. This was hands down the best class I've ever taken. I was involved in meaningful discussions and I was shown a field I had never considered an option for myself. My family has always been supportive of everything I've wanted to do. When I discover a new passion, they support me no matter how fleeting that passion is. When I brought up the other careers, like being a vet, a zoologist, or a pediatrician, they were all for it. They said, okay. I always thought I wanted to do something in the medical field or maybe even be a teacher, but I would have never guessed I would have chosen this specific, specific career for myself. When I brought up 
being a forensic sci psychologist for the FBI went from okay to uh, are you sure? I definitely threw them a curveball with that decision. The career that I'm looking for now all goes back to Timberly. It has come full circle back to her. She inspired me to find a career in which I can help people. I'll just be helping differently. Everything I've done over these past four years, from taking CCP classes to being an ambassador in Keys to Success and becoming salutatorian, all come from her. Now, as I stand here at my own graduation, I'm reminded of that somber graduation day in 2015. I'm reminded that sometimes the events that happen in our life that are meant to destroy us make us stronger. They give us that drive to succeed. We left a legacy as we took those last steps out those doors, a gift to grow, empower others, and change our world. As we receive our diplomas, we can reflect on our time at CHS and know that we impacted those around us and maybe even inspired some. At this time in our lives, we set forth on what is next. And we will look back on these years, whether fondly or not, and see where we were and how far we have come. Thank you. Excellent message, Mag Maddox. Thank you. Next up is Mr. Gayton Miller, our senior class speaker. Gayton is the son of Rick and Jackie Miller. Gayton will pursue a career in music upon graduation, and his speech is entitled Changes. Good evening, everyone. I have to admit, I have no idea why I'm doing this. I probably jumped the gun too quickly when giving this speech because the more time that passed, the more I realized what I was actually getting myself into. But I realized giving this speech was a chance to share some of the things I've learned over time. If someone offered this to me a few years ago, I would have probably laughed in their face and said no without a second thought. In hindsight, though, I can't believe I once was so anxious to speak out. Life is too short to live in and feel. So one day I stopped caring about how others thought of me, and now here we all are. About to graduate and move on to bigger and better things and be out in the big leagues, as I like to call it. I'm gonna miss being at school. I mean, I know I'll be glad to be out of here as much as the next person, but I cannot deny that I will miss it, especially the people who have made a positive impact on me. One thing I can say though, is that one of the best decisions I made was to return to school this year. After spending two years online, I was, which for the record, I absolutely despised. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to fit in or make peace for myself. But I soon realized that none of that mattered. And what actually mattered was making the most of my time and reaching my full potential. I stopped worrying about the past and started living in the present. And it was one of the best feelings I've ever had. So my advice saying non-graduates is simple. And this could be applied to anyone out there. Just let go of the past, live your life, and make the most of your time. Time flies by in a flash. And I'm sure most people here can attest to that statement. I wish I had not wasted so much time on worrying, on comparing, on avoiding, on procrastinating, even if I enjoyed that part the most. But... I should have put more trust in myself by telling myself that everything would work out in the end. <clears throat> While I do have regrets about spending two years online, I try not to dwell on it. It's crucial to keep moving forward and making the most of our time as time waits for no one. I want to reassure you that no matter how low you may feel, things will eventually get better. I truly believe that. Despite my initial doubts I had about this year, I enjoyed it. I had an unforgettable experience, and I would not have it any other way. As I near the end of my speech, I would like to take a moment to thank my parents for always being there for me and dealing with my crap, which I know was not easy for them. I would not be the same person I am today without them. So I really appreciate all they've done for me, and I wish I had shown that sooner. I am forever grateful 
for all the support and patience you both had with me. And I want to make sure you know that. In conclusion, what I just told you all today, you might have already known it, but it never hurts to have a reminder. I know there are people out there who know what I have felt like or currently feel the way I do. I hope that my message left an impact on you tonight. I am proud of the person I have become, and I'm excited to see what the future holds. I want to wish everyone here the best of luck on future endeavors, even if I'll be glad to never see some of you again. <laughs> I would like to hope that we've all learned something good along the way. Thank you. Thank you, Gaten. Regrettably, prior to the presentation of the class of 2023 and the announcement of graduates, we must pause to recognize a member of the class of 2023 who did not have the opportunity to be here tonight with her graduating class due to her untimely and unfortunate death. Asian A. Tyler, who left us during her seventh grade year, was extremely smart, thoughtful, and caring toward others. There's not a year that goes by that I don't reflect on that morning phone call from her grandfather telling us she would not be in that day. There's not a year that has gone by in which we don't miss her wonderful smile. Several members of Asian A's family are present this evening with us, accepting an honorary diploma on Asian A's behalf are her grandparents, Kelly and Renee Shackelford. I ask Cavalier Nation to put their hands together in a round of applause for one of our own Asian A. At this time, I call attention to the empty chair in the front row with a single rose in front of us on the stage. This rose has been placed there in, member of, in memory of Asian A as a member of the class of 2023, who is gone, but never to be forgotten. Even in death, she will be remembered as a part of the Cavalier family. Students, the presentation of a diploma to a deceased member of the class of 2023 serves as a reminder to each of us that earth, the time on earth is limited. What will you do, class of 2023, with the time that you have? Consider that as you celebrate here tonight with what is hopefully just one of many milestones attained throughout your life. And now, Ms. Swinehart, members of the Board of Education, faculty, parents, guardians, alumni, and friends of Chillicothe High School. As the principal of Chillicothe High School, it is my pleasure and privilege to present to you the class of 2023. Students who have met all of the requirements mandated by the state of Ohio's Department of Education and those of Chillicothe High School. Certified by the Chillicothe School District's Board of Education, 
each are entitled to receive a diploma signifying graduation from Chillicothe High School. At this time, members of the Board of Education, Ms. Swinehart and I will present diplomas. Graduating with honors in fine arts, Allison Dillon Lutz. Graduating with honors, Maddox May Woods. Gayton C. Miller. Troy Hess. Hayden Anthony Julius Hatmaker. Dade Michael Allen Good. Jesse James Fornash. Samuel James Irvin. Jaden A. Long. Alicia V. Frazier. Graduating with honors in STEM, Alexandra Marie Alderman. Graduating with honors in STEM, Emma J. Hansford. Graduating with honors, Addie Grace Price. Graduating with honors, Allison Grace Remley. Presenting the next diploma is Mr. Corey Black. Graduating with honors, Margaret June Black. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Simone Dominique Florima. <laughs> Isabella S. Mathis. Vincent A. J. Wilkes. Caden R. Montgomery. Britton S. Rooney. Aaron Jeffrey Valentine. Graduating with honors in STEM, Skyler No Shrey. Graduating with honors in STEM, Jacob Matthew Bird. Graduating with honors, Stephen High Wen. Julia Amalie James. The next diploma will be presented by Katrina Corbett. She's not here. She's not here? Okay. Graduating with honors, Trevor James Banks.
Graduating with honors, Aiden Joseph Spaulding. Graduating with honors, Draley Caitlin Renee Brown. Presenting the next diploma will be Holly Sibberl. Graduating with honors, Mason William Sibberl. Brandon Daniel Wayman Bentley. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Carden Alexis Cutright. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Paige Ann Huggins. Graduating with honors in STEM, Merrill Margaret Haller. <laughs> the next diploma will be presented by Aaron Brown. Graduating with honors, Avery Ann Brown. <laughs> Graduating with honors in STEM, Eleanor Lorraine Micus. The next diploma will be presented by Julie Beatty. Graduating with honors, Olivia K. Beatty. <laughs> Graduating with STEM honors, Michaela M. Spaulding. <laughs> Diplomas will now be presented by Board Vice President, Mr. Sean Porter. Graduating with honors in STEM, Elizabeth Grace Henson. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Caleb Allen Barfield. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Sarah Faith Dombrowski. Josiah A. Shanks. Graduating with honors, Samuel M. Parker. Graduating with honors, Matthew J. McCorkle. The next diploma will be presented by Julie Preston. Graduating with honors, Kenneth Scott Preston. Trenton A. Rose. The next diploma will be presented by Julie Beatty. Graduating with honors, James William Beatty. Graduating with honors, Daniel Patrick Rourke. The next diploma will be presented by Nikki Gallagher, Maverick Scott Griesheimer. Graduating with honors, Andrew Gregory Fowler. The next diploma will be presented by Julie Beatty. Graduating with honors, Christopher Eugene Beatty. <laughs> Riley M. Sayers. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Madison Louise Herod.
Graduating with honors, Isabella R. Woods. Marin Eileen Ada Hill. Serenity Lynn Mendenhall. Graduating with honors, Ava Marina A. Guerra. Graduating with honors, Juliana Renee Lee Master. Graduating with honors, Jacob Michael Lee Master. Andrew S. Schramm. Joshua A. Beverly. Now announcing graduates is Mrs. Brittany Graves. Ranger A. Park. J.C. Promise Harding. Graduating with honors, Kimberly Page Downing. Next diploma will be presented by Lisa Harper. Graduating with honors in STEM, Morgan Elizabeth Harper. Graduating with honors, Isabella Caroline Fisher. Graduating with honors in STEM, Avery Lane Ursland. Graduating with honors, Jamie K. Aloikana Wilson. Graduating with honors, Isabella Corinne Reif. Serenity Page. Madeline Elizabeth Ann Johnson. Graduating with honors, Tasia L. Youssef. Graduating with honors, Muriel Vegoje Ngale. Graduating with honors, Kiera Simone Hatfield. Kaylee Ann Kaplinger. Diplomas will now be presented by board member, Mr. Bill Bonner. Mason Michael Dowdy. The next diploma will be presented by Tim Bolton House. Carter E. Bolton House. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Aaron Matthew Lee. <laughs> Diploma presented by Letitia McCullough. Preston Marcus Crawford. <laughs> Colin J. Holm. <laughs> Stephen J. Richardson. <laughs> Shaylin Grace Streeter. Graduating with honors, Gemma Marie Mamoni. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Paige Julia Nicole Osborne. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Adam D. McCullough. Graduating with honors, Brooke Ansley Robinson. Diploma presented by Amber Good. 
Renee Good. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Sierra Dawn Hawkins. Alea Marie Scales. Meadow Cherie Branscom. Jordan Christopher Parker. Misha Noel Woodfork. Jocelyn Smith Faith Banks. Austin Garner. David Lee Mead. Devin Ward. Romia Amani Gray. DeMarco Otez Simmons. Isaac Butterball. Cheyenne Page Seckman. America May Tilton. Anna Nicole V. Lucas. Kirsten Rain Lewis. Jesse Leah Nicole Park. Carrie Ann Wiggins. Graduating with honors, Courtney Nicole Hoover. Graduating with honors, Katherine Cochran Hill. Graduating with honors, Yoli Chin. Carly Sue Wright. The next diploma is presented by Kelly and Gary Oyer. Graduating with honors, Kelsey K. Oyer. Graduating with honors, Evelyn Faith Crawl. Lauren Glenn Drotliff. <laughs> Diplomas will now be presented by board member, Mr. Randy Kelly. Mary Eliana Higley. <laughs> Graduating with honors in STEM, Anushka Sharma. Alyssa Marie Gardner. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Brooklyn Ann Ratcliffe. <laughs> CJ Holdren. <laughs> Carter Holy Cross. <laughs> Ricky Sarton. Jesse Carl Saxauer. Quentin James Reinhardt. Irie E. Peterson. Jennifer Ray Whitley. Joshua J. Allen Sanford. Christopher Owen Shepard. Now announcing graduates, Mr. Dan Staggs. Seth M. Strauser.
Gage Michael Miller. Patrick Lee McQuirt. Madison Adrian Thompson. Madison R. Dingus. Trey Quez, Deshaun King. Aurora R. Lassen. Riley Michelle Large. Kiana Lachey Jennings. Navea Grace Dawson. Mariah A. Dawson. Come on. Tiana R. Fultz. Delaney Ray Dunn. Mia Kayana Vera Viney. Madison M. Cotterman. Austin James Acosta Martinez. Haley Nicole Light. Jared Gilmore. Ethan D. L. Roberts. Donald J. Myers. Daniela I. Pena. Braden Alexander Brown. Ethan S. Strasball. Let's stop for a minute. Diplomas will now be presented by board member Mr. Ryan Wade. Packard Isaac Russell. Boston Elijah Reisinger. Braxton J. Evan Matthews. Kirsten Renee McGraw. Aiden Matthew Bello. Our next diploma will be presented by Frankie Perry. Ray M. Escalera. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Anna Gray Crawford. Alexis Rochelle Alexander. Kevin L. Fisher. Lavea N. Wright. Ashley Elizabeth Sullivan. Clarissa Page Scaff. Emma Marie Powers. Kylie Dawn Hart. Hannah Elizabeth Reinhardt. 
Lacey Lynn Farley. Graduating with honors in career tech is Sarah Ben Rajib. Xavier D. Hostutler. Leslie E. Richardson III. Michael Charles Hicks, Jr. Silas Nehemiah Henson. Come on up, big boy. Tristan David Coots. Yeah. Noah James Dardinger. Forrest May Kern. Evan Scott Heiss. Marcus David Knowles. Jordan Jamal James. Gabriel Scott Knowles. Dayana B. Love. Rayleigh M. Coyle. Brooklyn Jade McCoy. Cadence J. Turner. Skyla Leanne Lott. Daniel Levi Lou Mothmer. Jada Pinwell. Jaden Taylor Wakovic. Chloe A. Martin. Congratulations, graduates. Let's give all of our graduates one more huge round of applause. We're extremely proud of you and your accomplishments. At this time, will everyone please stand as the CHS Symphonic Choir sings Chillicothe High School's alma mater the blue and white.
Thank you, Mrs. Kennard and the CHS Symphonic Choir. A reminder to our audience, we have a long-standing tradition to conclude our commencement ceremony with a recessional. It is requested that the audience remain standing in the bleachers or in their seats until the graduating class of 2023 has exited the field. When the orchestra stops playing, that will be your cue to leave your seats and join the graduates around the outside of the field. And now, as principal of Chillicothe High School, it is my pleasure to state that you, the class of 2023, may move your tassels. I now pronounce you graduates of Chillicothe High School. It gives me great pleasure to present to all in audience these graduates. I invite you to rise or remain standing and applaud the graduating class of 2023 as we recess and exit the field. Feel free to congratulate them following the recessional. Thank you and have a good night. person that's not doing the clothespins can pack up the music stands, okay? Music stands can, if you don't, if you need help, like, putting them back together, just let me know. Don't forget your rosin. Oh, Oh, <laughs> 